Has taken the lead the on the Obama versus Clinton. For many of their respective fans, the rivalry has become as intense as, well, the Mac Daddy of all rivalries. The Yankees versus the Red Sox. Double losers. And while fan passion can be a good thing, it may not be the best thing in a political primary. Just as a Yankees fan would never root for the Red Sox, some Obama fans now would never root for Clinton, even if she wins the nomination. I will not vote for Hillary. I will move to Canada. It could be very polarizing. There will be a, be a deep divide. They're not alone. According to a CBS poll, if superdelegates put Clinton on top, more than 90% of Obama supporters say they'll be angry or disappointed. Clinton supporters feel almost as strongly. If Obama gets the nod, 73% of Clinton supporters would also be angry or disappointed. Voters are frustrated over the nasty fight for superdelegate support, and they don't much care for the name calling either. Shame on you, Barack Obama. I mean, Senator Clinton has been completely disingenuous. Representing your contributor, Resco, in his slum landlord business in inner city Chicago. Analysts say the increasingly bitter Democratic battle and the burgeoning bitter split among Democratic voters should worry the party. If the anger out there gets out of control, it could spell Democratic doom in the general election. The key moment to try to diffuse the anger that a lot of voters claim they'll feel now will come after one of these two Democrats sews up the nomination. Then it's going to be up to the loser to step forward and say to his or her supporters, support the winner. If that happens, the Democratic Party, I think, will be brought back together in a big hurry. If it doesn't happen, things could be very tough for the Democrats against John McCain. Problem is, even if the losing candidate steps up to support the winning one, will anything nice they say seem sincere? Sincere enough for anyone to really believe? Carol Costello, CNN, Washington.